some are also from the representatives of universities and I'm not sure if we have anyone from Opera Australia today. No? Okay. Um, we certainly did put the word out there to get as many people interested as possible um, for the launch. Um, thank you to Glee Books and the publishers Ashgate Gower for supporting this event and it fulfills a very important goal of the book to get the book known in Australia because so many of the chapters are by Australians about Australia but it's a UK publisher, it's a US series editor so we had to spell a lot of the words in American spelling um, and there was just a, the concern that perhaps it, it may get taken up by the Norm Northern Hemisphere but perhaps not so well known in Australia so it's really important to get that out there um, locally. Uh, I've been asked um, in the sort of the subsequent activities after the book, I've been asked to speak in Paris in November about uh, at a conference to do with uh, indigeneity, reconciliation and festivals. So whether or not arts festival can help reconciliation. And so I'm very encouraged to hear about Deborah's work being taken up by the, uh, the London uh, Olympic Festival of the Arts. Um, copies of the book are already distributed to producers of the Rotterdam Arts Festival and the Bregenz Festspieler in Austria. And with the partnership of Gordon Brunitsky in the US, I hope it is not too long before the performance of many of these new operas and new commissions from all the others mentioned in the book is a global phenomenon. So um, Anne has already, already regarded to a little bit of the background um, to the book. Um, I guess I would 